In this video, I'll be showing you how to easily and effectively make clips using OBS. By using the replay buffer feature, similar to using Shadowplay or Elgato's flashback recording, we can have OBS passively record in the background and then recall that footage to be saved to a video file, so you'll never miss out on capturing those sick plays ever again. It's really awesome and it won't take long to set up so let's just get right into it. Now I should note that this will not be an in-depth OBS tutorial. I'll assume you already know how to set up your scenes and sources, and we'll only be going over what's important to set up the replay buffer. To start, you'll want to open OBS, go to the settings screen, and go to output. From here you can see that we have sections for streaming, recording, and the replay buffer at the end. Go to replay buffer and make sure it's enabled. From here we can set the maximum replay time, which will basically just be how long you'll want to recall or how long the clip will be in the end. This can range anywhere from like 20 seconds to up to several minutes. The longest I've done is about 5 minutes, but just keep in mind that the longer the replay buffer, the larger the file size. Now once we got that sorted, let's go back to the recording tab and check to make sure that our settings are how we want them to be as this will affect the file size of our clips. For the sake of simplicity I would suggest just using either CBR or VBR for the rate control as this allows OBS to be able to automatically estimate how large our recording will be. I typically make 1080p clips so I try to keep my bitrate at around 20,000 kilobits but if you need to make smaller clips to start with, I would try to go no less than 10,000 to 12,000 kilobits if you're working with 1080p. Okay, now the next step is really, really important. It is what will tie everything together and make this really convenient later down the line, and that is to set up the hotkeys for the replay buffer. So from the settings screen, go to the hotkeys tab and go to where it says start and stop replay buffer and just set a key for this and of course set one to save the replay buffer as well that's kind of important <laughs> so this way you can launch obs hit a button to start the replay buffer and after some insane headshot or a crazy glitch or get the final hit on a boss just simply hit the hotkey to save the replay to your computer this is a great way to accumulate a bunch of clips to either share or use as parts to edit into a montage. I literally use this like all the time. And just remember to hit that hotkey. If you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like and consider subscribing so you'll know when I upload a new video. And if there are any points in this that you needed more explanation on, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer the best that I can or I'll just make another video on it. But other than that, I'll catch y'all later.